This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi, viewers. Today, in this video, we will discuss and write a program in GW Basic to print a list of odd numbers from the given number. So, here I'm going to write down the program on line number 10. We will tap CLS command to clear the contents of the screen. Line number 20, we will type dim and is the name of the array and 12 is the subscript elements of the array number 30 for m is equal to 1 to 12 line number 40 read and m line number 50 if n subscript m mod to not equal to zero then print n subscript m line number 60 next m line number 70 data 6 comma 42 comma 4 comma 77 comma 39 comma 9 comma 12 comma 21 comma 8 comma 45 comma 46 so these are the numbers from which uh, this program gonna decide which are the odd numbers of so the list of the odd numbers will be displayed on the screen so the number I'm gonna repeat is 6 42 4 77 39 9 21 20, 21 22 because there are 12 numbers so you have to count these numbers as well 22 8 45 46 so i'm gonna count numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11. so there are should be total 12 number 6 42 4 77 39 9 21 22 8 45 and 46 so there are total 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight nine ten eleven numbers and online number eighty we will type e and d end so let's execute this program in the IDE of the GW basic programming language and see the output how this program is executed actually So let's switch to the ID. So here we are in the ID of GW basic program. Here we will line type the same program line number 20 will type CLS 20 dim and subscript 12 line number 30 for m equal to 1 to 12 line number 40 read and subscript m line number 50 if n subscript m mod to not equal to zero then print n subscript m line number 60 next m line number 70 data 6 comma 42 comma 4 comma 77 comma 39 comma 9 comma 21 22 8 comma 45 comma 46 line number 80 will be in the end now we'll save this program we'll press the f4 key and type the name name is ar o d d dot b s name of the program now we'll load this program we will press the f3 key now we'll again type, type the name ar or dot bas now we'll press the f2 key so this syntax error in line number 50 so let's add it this line added we will have added 50 and see what's the problem actually in this line so we need to give a space over here so we will type 
n subscript m mod two we press save space like this and then press not equal to zero then print n subscript m now we will press again enter key and press the f4 key and type the name again ar mock art dot b as name of the program we'll load this program ar or dot b s now we'll run this program and press the f2 so viewers let's run this program we'll press the f2 key so you can see that the now we can see just the odd numbers on the screen which is 77 39 9 21 45 15 all these numbers are all numbers from the list so let's see the uh coding of this program this was the code and this was the data a list of data which was provided to the program out of which we this program was supposed to calculate and find the uh odd numbers out of them so you can see 77 it has uh given us the output 77 39 out of these numbers because 60 is divisible of 2 42 4 all are divisible of 2 so 77 39 9 21 45 and 15 are not divisible of 2 because we have uh, used this check if n substitute m is all 12 numbers for at here you can see that the read and m will try to skip the lines 15 and 16 will access and read the data from the data statement and will store all of these values one after another in this subscript like six will be stored first the loop will be executed for the first time because we have given the range from the initial value one till twelve the first time and the loop will be executed uh, the end will store the value of six in it subscript m second time the loop will be executed the value of m becomes two forty two will be stored in m subscript m third time the loop will be executed value four will be stored in n m subscript m fifth time 77 will be stored in subscript m likewise 39 9 21 22 till 46 12th time last the final value and finally the last value 46 will be stored in n m so all these 12 values first will be stored in the subscript m and here after executing the line 40 after storing all these uh values from by accessing and reading the values from the data statement from the line number 70 on line number 50 there is a check where nm subscript m means all these 12 values which are stored now in subscript m will be checked that the mod 2 is not equal to the means that first all these values will be divided by 2 and will be checked that the remainder of after the divide after dividing by the value 2 is zero or not if it is because there is a check not equal to x and this is not equal symbol we mean that if the remainder is not equal to zero then print the enemy means that the value is not if some th value is not divisible of two not cannot be divided by two it means that it is a odd number so the odd number will be displayed on the screen so we can see these all these odd numbers one two three four five six six numbers out of 12 numbers from all this list of data is now can be seen as an output on the screen so this this was the actual output which was required from this program so let's switch to the text area where i will explain all these and interpret all these lines uh, one after another for your better understanding and uh, uh, knowledge so let's switch to the text area so let's interpret the program on line 10 cls command is used to clear the contents of the screen on line 20 dim statement is used for declaring array variable named and with subscript 12 elements of the array or you can call size of array on line 30 counter loop for is used with variable named m 
with initial value 1 and final value 12 on line 40 read statement is used with subscript with array variable named nm which skip line 50 and 60 and access line 70 and first read data from the data statement and then store every each value starting from 6 till last value 46 by executing the loop every time loop is executed value of from data statement is stored in subscript m online number online 40 so every time this read statement will skip line 50 and 60 because there are total 12 final values are 12 times the read statement will skip the line 50 and 60 and access the data statement and then store the value one after another in the subscript m so m because the m has the value initial value 1 and final value 12 means that this loop will be executed 12 times and every time this all these 12 value will be stored in subscript and one after another so first time the loop will be executed 6 will be stored in m then the second time the loop will be executed the value of the m becomes 2 42 will be stored in the subscript m third time the loop will be executed the value of m becomes 3 and this for the value from the data statement will be stored in m uh, one after another till when the 12th time last time the final value is since the value of the uh, m final value of m is 12 the 12th time final value 46 will be stored in uh, subscript m so in the end we will see that all these values is till 46 now stored in the subscript m so n m contains now all these values so on line 50 if statement is used to check whether the all the 12 values now stored in array variable nm are divisible of 2 or not since there is not equal to symbol used after two and to check whether the values are providing remainder zero or not means all the values which do not provide remainder zero will be now printed on the output screen using statement print nm now this nm will now display as the value for for those values which do
do not provide the remainder not equal to zero means that the numbers are now all numbers all numbers are those numbers which are not divisible of zero and the remainder is not zero since those values which do not provide the remainder zero will be now printed on the screen because then statement the statement after the then statement is always give us the uh, uh, result and output which when this statement becomes true so those numbers which do not provide the remainder zero will be now printed on the screen so we have seen that the output on the screen when we executed the program all these odd numbers can be seen on the screen by using this if statement check so there was the condition which was used so i'm gonna make all these numbers bold which is very very important essential so here we can see these all this read i'm going to make it make them bold like these all these names of the variables and the uh, specific statement name like data read line numbers so they are very very important to understand with the values the subscript name line number very very important data statement These are also very important. So online sixty next M is used for loop termination used in line thirty on line seventy data statement is used with list of total 12 values which are actually accessed and read by the read statement on line 40 I hope you are getting all these interpretation explanation very easily, conveniently. Because I, it's my responsibility to, to make all these lines clear to you guys so that you can have better understanding and knowledge of all these execution of this program line by line. So in the end on line 80 E and D and statement is used to for program ending closing etc so that's all thanks for watching my video i have explained the above program in detail executed the program in the id and we have seen the output this program was successfully executed in the id of the gw basic program and then we have discussed the interpretation as well line after in the nether so i when you can see all of my previous videos have all the interpretation in which I give explanation interpretation of all the uh, line by line execution of the program so that you people can have better command and grip on the programming execution and this understanding so that's all thanks for watching my video <laughs>